Located front and center above each of the ribbon tabs is the Manage Columns menu. If we come up to the top and open the menu, we'll see a complete list of all of the different columns and calculations that we have contained within the visual. You can also see that the different fields have icons that are included in here to represent the data coming from either fields that are coming from the model or any of the calculated fields that are built into InfraRiver itself. Coming up to the filter icon, when selecting categories, it filters it down to the category, subcategory, product, and product ID. Notice, by the way, the product ID is hidden, so we can see that if I was to open this up, we can't go down anything past the product name level, even though product ID is contained in the visual, it is not visibly displaying. So with that visible, it would allow us to go down one further level, but for the report consumption experience, this might not be necessary, but you still might want the product ID for exporting the data either to PDF, to Excel, or if you're using InfraRiver Enterprise, you might want to include this as part of the write back process to a relational data source, which is a good reason why you would want to keep it hidden, but also still included in the data in the back end for this visual. Coming back to the filter icon, we can see that we have the original measures that get filtered to forecast and sales, and then coming back to all and selecting variance, the two auto calculated variances as well, plus the ability to do a wildcard search for any of those fields. Now we do have an option over here when clicking the gear icon to open up the advanced section with further configurations as well to actually choose any of the sort orders between, as an example, forecast and sales. If I change the order here, you'll see that order change reflected immediately inside of the visualization. Plus, you can individually control the pixel width here and also change the aggregation type at the visual level for subtotals and totals. Last but not least in this section, we can see the option to be able to lock the column width or even reset the sort order. Coming up to the versions tab up here, for any of the measures that are being included in the InfraRiver visual, we can see both of them listed here with the ability to assign them either as none, actuals, prior year, forecast, or plan, which can then be used with IBCS templates for variance analysis. Opening this menu up, we'll be given a list of automatic templates that can be used to show various visual level matrix charts at the click of a button.